I don't know where my credit score's at these days. I don't know a lot about credit scores, you know. I've been seeing a lot of commercials for checking your credit score. These commercials act like you can fix all your problems by just checking <laughs> your credit score. They say things, they don't give you no other instructions, you know, they just want you to check it. They say things like, you don't wanna live with your parents forever, do you? Well, you better check that credit score. <laughs> but it's like, if you check it and it's bad, it's still bad. Like, checking don't help. Like, I'd like to see this play out in a bank somewhere, right? Like some guy comes in to get a loan and the banker's there and he's like, well, Jim, your credit score's terrible. But I see here that you've been checking it a lot. We appreciate that, so. Here's a house. I grew up in a trailer park, uh, which wasn't that fun, so not sure why they call it a park. You know what I mean? There wasn't no rides in there, no water slides. We had like an occasional slip and slide, or like an old tarp with some Dawn dish detergent on it. We put our slip and slide over a tree root one time, because yeah. we was going jumping. That's not how that works at all. I hit that trigger and I just got him, got a job. Uh, I was like, I am done playing out here. I'm done playing, period. I got medical bills now. Okay. We never went camping growing up, because like I say, I grew up in a trailer and uh, we felt like we had a pretty good idea what camping was all about. I mean, we're like, nah, we already kind of live in a camper. We don't really need to take it down to a tent. Like, we know what it's like to be poor. We're not trying to find out what it means to be homeless. Like, we're not trying to practice homelessness. <laughs> I used to hear this expression a lot growing up. People say, that kind of money. You ever hear that, that kind of money? You might hear it in conversation. They go, well, you hear about Bob? Yeah, I heard he got a new boat. Man, I wish I had that kind of money. Like it's a different kind. <laughs> Nothing to do with the amount, you know what I mean? He's got the kind of money since his kids to college. I only got the kind to get mine out of jail. <laughs> that kind of money. There is a lot, a lot of different kinds of money out there. Like when I was a kid, uh, you know, like there's like, uh, like old money, new money, blood money, drug money. We didn't have any of that. What we had was good money, right? Good money. That's where your parents buy you something you don't like. They go, we paid good money for that. <laughs> good money buys the worst stuff too. It's never anything good. Good money buys like airbrush t-shirts with your name on it from Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Dollywood, you know what I mean. I had a lot of t-shirts with wolves on it growing up. My mom thought I'd look good in a wolf t-shirt. She was like, the more wolves, the better. Put them all over that thing. Maybe put a little moon on there. Give that wolf something to howl at. I had a hat growing up, just had my name airbrushed across the top. Just said, Dusty. That's just so I wouldn't get kidnapped. You know? <laughs> Kidnapper sees that hat, he's like, nah, his family ain't got no money. Right? <laughs> just give him the candy, yeah? <laughs> just let him have, he probably ain't had candy in a long time. <laughs> I'm out there trying to get in the van. <laughs> They're like, no, <laughs> we are kidnappers. I'm like, I know, I'm a kid. Trying to get napped up in here. <laughs> yeah, this trailer park for a while. <laughs> Thing that was the most fun for me about living in a trailer park was tornadoes, right? Because I got to leave. I got to, I got to go to a real house for a little while. I love going to a real house. I'd be like, man, look at all these bricks in here. <laughs> the only time I ever seen a bricks when it came through my window. <laughs> with a note on it said, cut your grass. 
That's how they do it in the Mobile Homeowners Association. <laughs> mobile Homeowners Association. Sometimes I'll say that twice. because It's a good joke. <laughs> that is fun. Mobile Homeowners Association. <laughs> you know what I mean. We're having a good time. One December we had a tornado warning and uh, I was listening to the radio and they were telling us what to do during this tornado warning based on what kind of house you live in, right? They were like, if you live in a house with a basement, go into the basement. If you live in a house without a basement, go into a bathroom or a small room. And they were like, if you live in a trailer park, we want you to go to a neighbor's house or go outside and lay down in the ditch. <laughs> That's the real news. They're like, listen, we don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Hell, you made some bad decisions along the way. <laughs> now you gotta deal with this. They're like, we can't help you. <laughs> yeah, you should check that credit score a couple of times. <laughs> you might not be in this mess. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I know it's raining out there. And that ditch is gonna be full of water. Just get down in it. <laughs> yeah, it's December. It's gonna be cold. <laughs> you probably gonna get sick. Just get down in there. I like that they think that there's a ditch located next to every trailer park. <laughs> like it just comes with it, you know? Part of the trailer park amenities. Every trailer park gets their own tornado ditch. I like that the other option they give you is to go to a neighbor's house, right? Because I don't know what kind of trailer parks they know about, but the trailer park that I grew up in, my neighbor also lived in a trailer. <laughs> it's like they just want us to meet up in one, maybe wait it down. The tornado can't carry it off, you know what I mean? And if we did have house neighbors, you know, they're not just so welcoming to the trailer park people. They're not like, no, come on in. Come on in, check out our stuff we have in here. You know what I mean? It's that people that want you to take your shoes off before you come inside, you know what I mean? I hate that. Show up at somebody's house, they're like, hey, come on in. You mind taking off your shoes? I'm like, nah, I'll just go home. Like, I wish you'd told me that on the phone. I wouldn't even come over here. Not me lounging around in my socks like we about to do yoga in here. They're like, namaste. I'm like, nah, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I feel like when people ask me to take my shoes off before I come inside, it's like they're saying, hey, our house is cleaner than you. Try not to mess it up in here. Matter of fact, take off the rest of your clothes. Jump in the shower. <laughs> Give me some time to put a sheet down on the couch. <laughs> They're right though, most houses are too clean for me, you know? That's not how I was raised, you know? I was raised in a dirty house. We had a type of house where people show up and they try to take their shoes off. We're like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, you better keep those on in here. <laughs> yeah, you get hurt walking around in here barefooted. <laughs> Broken glass. Fish hooks. <laughs> now nah, we weren't real poor growing up. We just didn't have everything. I never got ice cream growing up. That's true. My mom used to just pour milk into a bowl. Then she'd call me into the room and go, well, you're too late. <laughs> He's like, I guess you'll come next time I call you. They're laying down in the ditch. <laughs> Messing up that new wolf shirt I got you out there. Need good money for that chair. You know what I mean? Okay. Thank you. One guy clapped for that, and I appreciate that. And, uh, oh, now we got picked up another. And, uh, they're mounting. 